Okay, YouTubers, here's what we got. <clears throat> I got the computer inside. It's clean. Uh, as clean as it's going to get. Now, because I'm doing a factory restore, I've done one of several things. I've removed... It had an extra... Uh, add-on card for a serial port, which was necessary for the business. And... Uh, it has a wireless LAN card that uh, had been installed and I was advised that it was not working so being that those were not part of the factory install I removed them and I'm going to be using the original discs uh, with the drivers and software uh, most likely I'll download updates from Dell to use them and let's see that's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do though, because I have the original discs with this, com this uh, computer, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, use some disc wiping software to wipe everything on it. That way when it goes back it's going to reinstall the uh, partitions and everything the way it should be. So if there are any viruses or corrupted software, or, you know, it's basically going to erase the hard drive. Go ahead and boot that. And uh, it should recognize it. And there's our hard drive. It says it's 74 gigabyte but so we're going to go ahead and wipe that and uh, get to fixing. And when your disk wipe is finished and successful, you usually get a green light here indicating everything was okay and there weren't any errors. So we're good to go. That's the disk we need. There's two ways you can do this. When you turn the computer on, being that I erased a hard drive, remember this menu here, F12 to boot. Being I erased a hard drive, it's going to automatically boot from the first thing that I can find. So the next thing in line after the CD -ROM, after the hard drive is the CD-ROM. So it's going to go through a series of screens like this, and uh, when it gets to the next one, I'll tune back in. That's what we want to see. Loading windows. And the screen you get to, welcome to setup. You can pause and read that, but I've done this so many times. Set up Windows XP, hit enter, F8 to agree to the license, install, and you get two choices there. Quick or standard formatting. I choose the standard formatting NTFS because uh, if there are any issues with the hard drive they usually pop up now whereas a quick format isn't as thorough. Now oh, that's the next screen. Pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, name of the organization or name an organization, it's up to you. There we go. You can fill in anything you want. I usually just put something generic like user or anything of that nature. You can name your computer uh, back here. Pretty much anything you want. Next, yeah, this is kind of important. If the time and date isn't right here and you go to install software or updates, you could have some issues with it. So uh, make sure that's correct. If the computer's been sitting for a while, sometimes they, uh, they lose the date. In less than 31 minutes, XP will be on here and uh, reminds me I gotta get 
Service Pack 3 on my flash drive. Next up you will see is this screen. Though it's possible you may not, depends upon the computer. We're going to click OK. Alrighty. The end is in sight and I have all the updated factory drivers on my flash drive here so we're good. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. I usually set up automatic updates later. So uh, let's see who am I going to put in here. Eh, let's do the same thing. User. Let's see what's next. There we go. She's looking good and running. Now usually what I'll do is at least one time click the restart button. It should boot nice and smooth and quick. So after all hard drives clean, no drivers installed. I'm gonna go ahead drop something on the floor and install the drivers. <laughs> 